Hello everybody, my name is Winter. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Right now I just wanted to really quick give a little update on Tyson and how he's doing. If you follow me on Instagram, I explained everything from the start of, I mean I think a few days after this started happening. I updated a lot on there and I explained the whole situation on there really well. But I know I haven't posted on here in a couple of weeks, I think maybe even a month. Anybody who follows, follows me here and does not follow me on Instagram does not know what's going on. Basically, uh, we found out that Tyson was um, born with disc, disc disease. So um, the second vet that we took him to let us know that he has congenital disc disease. I believe it can also be referred to as intervertebral disc disease. So basically in the beginning of January, I can't remember exactly what day it was, we uh, noticed one night that he wasn't acting himself. He was shaking a lot and if I touched him on the back, um, like near his back legs on his back, he would shake even more. So it seemed like in that area he was in pain. We did not know what was going on. We called a bunch of emergency pet hospitals. Um, all of them were like six to seven hour wait times. So we decided to just wait until the morning. Um, hopefully he'll sweep, sleep it off or I don't know, maybe he just like tweaked his neck or like we picked him up wrong or something. So we waited till the morning. He actually was acting worse in the morning. Um, he would not stand. And we actually um, took him outside to go potty. And like I said, he wouldn't stand so he just sat down and he was just peeing, sitting down, you know, he wouldn't move. Um, so, you know, we were obviously very concerned. And after about an hour, um, he started panting a lot, like uh, really crazy. He was panting, like we've never heard him pant like this before. And so we started, you know, getting even more concerned. And we called a bunch of emergency pet hospitals again and we finally found one with a really with a shorter wait time. So we went to that one. Once we arrived, they actually let us know that it was actually going to be a longer wait time. Then they referred us to a different pet hospital. <laughs> so basically we just, you know, went around and around until we could find uh, a good place. And we ended up going to VCA in Ontario. They thought that he just tweaked his neck. So they sent us home with some medication and um, they said hopefully, you know, hopefully he'll heal that way. They didn't do any x-rays or anything. The vet just let us know like when she touched his neck, she got the most reaction out of him. So she assumed that his neck was hurting. And we were a little bit confused because like I said before, if I touched him in his back end, like that is where it seemed like he had his most pain and he wouldn't walk. So I was like, I don't know why it would be his neck, you know? But anyway, so we took him home. He was pretty drugged up, so he slept the whole night. The next day, he did the same thing. He wouldn't walk. He was just acting really strange, and he started panting again. What is happening? <laughs> uh, Robert actually took that day off just to kind of watch him and make sure that he was okay. And Robert actually ended up taking him to Animal Urgent Care in Burbank. And um, at that place, they actually did some x-rays and some tests to see what was going on. And in the x-rays, they actually found that uh, Tyson's vertebrae was misshape is misshapen in 12 different areas. So they let us know that that is a big possible factor in his pain. And they also did a, um, they did a blood test and they found that his liver enzymes were high. So um, they thought maybe he ate something outside that was maybe poisonous. Uh, so we called poison control. And anyways, we, uh, his pain for the next day and a half, it was not relieved. He was still panting a lot. He still had diarrhea. He still was throwing up and it just, it didn't seem like he was getting better. It seemed like he was actually declining. So uh, we ended up calling Access uh, in Woodland Hills and uh, we took him there. They actually ended up keeping him overnight, which was good. We knew that he was gonna be taken care of overnight and that he was gonna, you know, have the pain reliever that he needs. And in the morning, he actually saw a neurologist. I have one little clip of Tyson, you know, 
um, wobbling back and forth because he was very, very wobbly. Um, he was kind of walking like he was drunk for, you know, the few days there. There were times where he would just sit and he wouldn't stand at all, um, but if he did get up, he would be very wobbly. So I think I do have a video of him doing that, and then I do have a video of the panting. I'll go ahead and insert those as well. But anyway, the neurologist did let us know that it seemed like he was doing better and uh, thankfully he still had the motor function in his back leg so he was not paralyzed. And the neurologist did actually recommend that we go forth with the medication treatment as opposed to going straight into the surgery. Uh, he was very optimistic that the medication would help Tyson heal. Um, you know, there is always a chance that, you know, even if he does heal right now, uh, later on he can still, um, you know, get that pain back and get the herniated disc back, you know, multiple times throughout his life. So that is something that, you know, we have to watch out for. And of course, we're going to be a lot more careful from now on. Um, he's not allowed to jump on and off the bed. He's not allowed to go downstairs. He can't be running around. So he does have a lot of restrictions um, from now on. When we, do, when we do see the neurologist this weekend uh, for his four-week check-in, uh, the neurologist is going to tell us exactly what he can and can't do from now on. And then, um, you know, he'll let us know what we need to do from there and if he is truly doing better. When he did see the neurologist, they did send him home with literally a medicine cabinet full of medication. Like so many, so many things. And, um, you know, told us to give him strict rest, which we've been doing and um, crating him at night and when we're not watching him. Thankfully, I am working from home, so I can, you know, help him out during the day. And thankfully, um, he is doing so much better and he can walk on his own. He's actually not wobbling anymore. He's been eating really well. He's been drinking really well. Um, he hasn't shown any signs of pain. Um, there are times when he's laying down that he'll kind of like groan a little bit, but I think he did do that before this all happened. So I think it's just something that he does. There's like little things that he does now and then that I kind of watch out for and I'm like, uh oh, like, should this be a concern? Um, is this normal, you know, or if he's acting strange, I get really nervous that, you know, it, it's a sign that he's feeling the pain again. But thankfully, since he has gotten off of the medication a week and a half ago or a week ago, I think it has been a week um, since he's been off the medication, he has been doing completely fine. So I am so thankful. Are you staring at the camera? Hi. The reason why I'm making this video now is because I am a lot less emotional about it. Obviously at first, you know, we really did not know what was going to happen to Tyson and um, we didn't really know what our options were. You know, there was a time where we thought the only option was surgery and um, that's really scary because it's an 80% uh, success rate and even if you do get the surgery for your dog, um, there is, you know, obviously always going to be a chance that he's gonna get the herniated disc again or um, he's gonna start feeling that pain again or he'll just be paralyzed so you know it's just it's very scary and um, I really do wish that we knew that his back was messed up you know a long time ago so that we would have been more careful um, in terms of not letting him jump up and down a lot and um, just uh, like I don't know. I just, if you have a little Frenchie or a Dachshund, um, I know there's other breeds that this happens to, but those are the only two that come to mind right now. Uh, please be careful. It's just very scary. And you obviously don't ever want your dog to be in pain. Like this is my baby and I don't ever want him to be in pain. I just want him to be happy. So just if, you know, just be careful. I know not all Frenchies or Dachshunds have back problems, but um, it is very common. So um, 
yeah, just uh, be careful. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to give a little update. He is doing so much better. Um, again, we are going to see the neurologist this weekend for his four week check in and then um, we will go from there. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to um, let you all know. I do want to say thank you so much to everybody who uh, donated to the GoFundMe and also sent us, you know, so much support and kindness kindness throughout this time. Um, we do really, really, really appreciate um, everybody, uh, your donations, your kind words, everything. Um, it really does mean a lot to us. But if you do want to watch the rest of this video, it's just going to be like a little vlog type situation. Not going to be anything exciting. Yeah, if you want to keep watching, go ahead and do that. Thank you. All right, guys, it's been a few hours. It definitely sucks that by the time I'm off work, it's dark outside already. You're attacking me. Ow, you just blew snot in my eyeball. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at his face. He's supposed to be gentle with the babies and he ripped his little nose off. That's not nice. That's not nice. Good morning. It is Saturday and we are gonna go look at two apartments in Torrance. So we just viewed one of them, the one that I really preferred. So in the pictures it showed like a patio and a balcony and all that stuff and the ones that they have left, they don't have any patios or balconies, so that freaking sucks. Um, they have one, it's like kind of like a balcony, but it's not closed off, so I wouldn't be able to leave Tyson out there unless I got like a gate or something. Um, but that one was more expensive, so I mean, it sucks because it was really nice, so. I guess that one's a no from us. Um, we're going to look at another one right now, so hopefully this one is better. It's a little bit cheaper, so. And it seems like it's like an actual apartment complex with like parking and everything like that, so it should be fine. We'll see. All right, so we just looked at the uh, last one of the weekend. That one was really nice and really big for the price, so. I think we're gonna apply for that one. Um, obviously, we're gonna talk about it a little bit more. But yeah, we're gonna go home and then we're gonna get Tai Tai and we're gonna take him to see the neurologist. So we have been back home. I wanted to give a little update on Tai Tai. The neurologist said that Tyson's back and everything looked like it was almost back to normal. Um, he said he still had a little bit of a gait when he walked, like he was still a little bit wobbly. He's not completely back to normal, but he is doing so, so much better. Um, so he recommended two more weeks of creating him and then gradually increasing his activity. He did still recommend not to allow him to run or play, anything like that. So we still have to be very careful with him, but his liver enzymes were still higher than normal and they said that they actually were higher than last time. So um, they recommended that we go get him an ultrasound, but they wouldn't tell us what exactly could be causing it. Um, there's so many different things and we looked it up and it could just be a diet change, which we did change his food recently, or um, painkillers can cause the liver enzymes to go higher, um, which he was on a lot of painkillers, but he's been off of that for two weeks now, so I don't know if that's, you know, could be what's causing that. So we really don't know. Um, we're gonna try to make some changes at home for him first, and then um, hopefully he'll get better. It's kind of hard because you don't see any symptoms, really. Um, at least we don't see any symptoms of, you know, his liver being damaged or whatever so but yeah i just wanted to update <laughs> oh, <Tyson. laughs> oh. <laughs> okay 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 can i pet you good boy <laughs> this is what happens after he gets a bath yeah you're crazy Happy Valentine's Day! When I 
I try to actually dress cute and look cute. I feel like I look weird. Like I'm just trying too hard. It's outfit of the day. Okay, we gotta go. Gotta go. Where See you guys. Going? Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. See you guys soon. The yummy. We stopped to get some ice cream. Neither of us even really like sweets, so <laughs> I don't know why, but we did. Let's go. Let's go. Oh wow. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this. It's way too much. Hello everyone. <laughs> I am sitting here editing and I realized that I didn't say goodnight on any of the clips. So I just wanted to get on here and um say thank you so much for watching this was a really long one so i do apologize i'm gonna try to cut it down a little bit right now because it is just a lot i do hope you guys like these vlogs i'm trying to do a lot more like sit down videos but honestly i can't really think of anything right now but if you guys have anything that you want to see um go ahead and let me know in the comments again thank you so much for watching and um, I hope I see you on the next one. Bye.